I'm what I'm, I can't fake to please someone. Even if that someone loves me. I know it's not a good attitude, but I can't change myself. Time has brought this change in me. People say I have no emotions. Maybe they're right, or maybe they are wrong. I don't know. My name is Daisy. My passion for music made me join a band. From there my social life took a change. I was a shy girl who used to overthink and weep about small things happening. After joining the band, I started understanding life in a very different way. I met new people, some nice guys, really cool. At the same time, I faced some rash and ill-minded people. Every event was adding to my experience some unique thoughts. Now I have become a girl with strong control over my emotions. I don't care too much about any uncertainty or unexpected happening. To me, it's a part of life, but the part I'm facing now is simple and intertwined with its own complexities. While I was performing with my band, Adam was in the audience. He was near the stage, but I didn't notice him. Why would I notice him? I'm not a person with the knowledge of prophecies. Later, he found his way to contact me. I dated him. It was normal to me. I wasn't excited or interested in him. When he said goodbye, I thought it was our first and last meeting, and I didn't bother about it much. A week later he contacted me again through our mutual friend. We met at a party, as decided. He had a bit of a change in his personality now. He was more confident than in the last meeting and was behaving like a real man. I got attracted. After the party, I was about to leave for my house. Bad luck. My car got punctured, he offered his favor to drop me. Offer accepted. He killed the engine in the driveway. It seemed he was expecting something from me, right now. I told him that I was home alone, but he didn't accept. He left. It was surprising to me. None of my boyfriends ever did this to me. He was different. I wanted to meet him again. I wanted to read his eyes. We started meeting each other often. The call durations were increasing. Finally, our bodies touched each other. He thought that our souls were attached too, but I didn't think so. No doubt he was a man of wit and strength, but we weren't a perfect match. He proposed to me, but I told him that we can't be together forever. I told him my priorities change. My view broke his heart. He told me that he loved me. I know he loved me, but what could I do? I can't be with the same person for the rest of my life or unless find the best. And he wasn't the best. I asked him to continue the relationship and I would leave if I found a better one. He strongly opposed that open relationship and faded from my life. I knew I hurt him. I can't change myself. Who wronged? Did I? I told him the truth. What if I faked my emotions with him and broke him later? I wanted to keep things clear. Wasn't it the right way?